Welcome to your weekly airplane news updates. This is the week of October 18, 2021. And this week we've got four topics. The first one you may have seen in the news, there was an MD-87 crash in Texas. And that was uh, kind of scary actually when we saw the footage at first, it was live. And uh, surprisingly, everybody made it out. We have a an airplane hit and run, which is not really something that you see. That happened in the air. Somebody hit somebody else and then they run. And then we have a story coming from Florida. And no, you did not guess it correctly. This is not Florida man. This is Florida woman this time that deletes maintenance records. And then lastly, we'll talk about a new flight deck from Honeywell. So that's called the Anthem. So let's get to it. First thing this week, in Texas, on Tuesday, there was a MD-87 crash. Um, at the end of the runway, it looks like they never got off the ground, essentially hit the fence and stopped in the field, and then the aircraft caught on fire. There were 18 people on board, three crew members, everybody was able to make it out alive, uh, which is amazing, some minor injuries. And uh, the NTSB is on the, uh, on the run and they're trying to find out what happened at this place. Um, I think this is going to be interesting and I think we're going to be talking about this incident again. Uh, this is a, an accident that is not the first accident in this situation, in this scenario. And that's all I'm going to say for right now, but I think we're going to hear more information about what happened there and I think uh, there's going to be some surprises. Next thing, airplane hit and run. The NTSB is looking for an airplane that was involved in a mid-air collision in Alaska and then kept flying. This is not something that's super, uh, super usual because, well, typically when you have a mid-air collision, either both aircraft go down because there's substantial damage or there's enough damage that uh, the other aircraft or both aircraft have to land. And in this case, this was a Cessna 180 that was in Sutton, Alaska. And uh, they have substantial damage on their side Luckily, the pilot was able to land safely. Uh, the other aircraft, on the other hand, went and kept flying. And so the NTSB is looking to find out uh, what happened to that other aircraft, who it is. And uh, there's no other reports that have been found on this. So if you were that person and you're watching, please go talk to the NTSB. Florida man, or in this case, Florida woman, uh, has been charged with unauthorized access of a computer or an electronic device. And this actually happened in the town where I used to live, in Melbourne, Florida. Uh, this is the Melbourne Flight Training School, not the school that I work for, a uh, school across the uh, airfield. And this lady, Lauren Lyde, she was uh, allegedly, she tampered with some airworthiness maintenance records. Uh, she deleted information from ongoing maintenance issues and maintenance reminders that were on apparently the software for that school. Uh, the police was able to trace the access back to her father's side of things, Hampton Lyde. And um, she was fired from that flight school prior to all of this happening. And... Um, not sure what happened, why she decided to do this, but that's a big deal. Please don't delete maintenance records. Uh, this is uh, an issue for somebody coming next, flying that aircraft, and, um, and that, that can cost somebody's life. So not a good idea. Don't be that woman. Next thing is Honeywell is coming up with a new flight deck, and this is a new avionic suite, and this is called the Anthem Flight Deck. It features uh, synthetic vision, navigational maps, uh, situational awareness for the situational display, a web browser, and then the ability to do third-party apps, which is pretty cool if you think of Four Flight, for example, uh, 3D airport maps, and then 3D runways uh, that give you an alerting system. So that's pretty cool if you, you know, get over the runway or uh, an overrun on the runway that will give you uh, an alert. Uh, Honeywell said that this kind of uh, connected system can save up to 45 minutes of pre-flight, which is kind of amazing if you think about it. So um, they're going to include this on uh, all different types of aircraft. This is designed for a variety of different things from general aviation to uh, large uh, passenger aircraft or even business jets. So uh, pretty cool. Last thing this week is a quick update from Pilot Institute. If you're one of the students in our private pilot course, we've made some updates. We've actually added a full explanation videos step by step on some of the more difficult questions. Uh, we found that some of you were having issues with the aircraft performance, the weight and balance, or even planning across country where there's a lot of different steps involved. So we recorded these videos. I think there's uh, almost 80 of them uh, where you can go and follow. If you don't understand why you didn't get the right answer, you can just click on that video and then get all the help that you need. So this is just a, a, another improvement to the course. We do these uh, every once in a while. We add new content and this is uh, one of them. So if there are 
are more questions. If you're a student in the course, there are more questions that you don't really uh, understand other topics. Please let us know and then we'll, uh, we'll add more videos and create them for you. But that's it. That's all I have for you this week. Like, subscribe, leave your comments. We love reading your comments and answering your comments. And, uh, and if you're not a subscriber yet, we do this every single week. So make sure that you subscribe and then you'll get notification. That's all I have. I'll see you guys next week.